My name is Ryan Conway and we're here at my wife and I's new property, Fable Farms, Indiana. And I'm here to tell you about the garden tower growth study that we'll be doing over the next few months. So the reason we have all these garden towers and the reason we're doing this study is that when we first moved onto the property and had all these big dreams about growing food here, we ran into some logistical problems that we didn't really anticipate. For one, we had this huge, amazing greenhouse, but it hadn't been used in about two years, so the soil has all become mineralized and really difficult to work with. And so we thought, okay, well, we can just use the back field to plant some crops. But when we got out there, we saw that it was really overgrown. A lot of the watering infrastructure had kind of been ruined by a tractor that ran over it. And we were kind of out of luck because that would take a lot of time to repair, a lot of time to get the soil prepped, and a lot of uh, resources to make it all work. I look out into the carport and I see this white food grade barrel and I remember that barrel isn't just a barrel, it's my first garden tower. So back when the garden tower first started, I started hearing a lot about it on social media. Living in Bloomington, the birthplace of the garden tower, that was kind of unavoidable. So I got a garden tower 1.0 for myself and I got a garden tower 1.0 for my parents. And the experiences that they've had and that I've had with them were really positive. So we had heard that the Garden Tower project had come out with a new product, the Garden Tower 2.0, and we had seen some friends work with it. And so we thought, okay, if we're gonna get the Garden Towers, we're gonna get the 2.0s. Two of them would be for veggies, two of them would be for herbs, and two of them would be for strawberries, just to see what we could get out of them. So for the next few months, we're gonna be measuring every single gram of produce that comes off of these things. And so we're gonna be sharing all of that data with the Garden Tower Project and with you so that you can see just how cost effective this could be. This is gonna be fresh produce grown right in your backyard. I mean, you're not gonna be having to go to the farmer's market. You're not gonna be having to go to the grocery store. So you're gonna be saving a lot of money and hopefully recovering some of that cost of your original investment. So we wanna know exactly how long it takes to recover the initial investment in the towers and we want to know exactly how much food we can get off the towers, both for us to eat and to make a really accurate estimate of cost savings. 